you for his grace, amen, as we honor the Lord on today. For those of you who pressed your way out, amen, to the Bible study, Lord bless you. And those of you who are watching my Facebook live, the Lord bless you in the name of the Lord as we endeavor to continue to break down the word of God. Amen. For those of you, amen, that was on the podcast this morning, the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. You know what we're talking about. We must endeavor. Amen. To be about kingdom business. Yes. Doing the work of the Lord. Sometimes we get so caught up in our own business that we forget about the business of the Lord. Amen. And we want to be people that are Amen. kingdom minded people. Come on in, Sister Melissa. The Lord bless you. Amen. We honor the Lord on today. We praise his holy name. Amen. We're going to stand as we go into prayer and ask the Lord to bless you. Bible study. In the name of the Lord. Eternal Father, I thank you. I lift you up and give you glory. For you are the way, the truth, and the life. And God, we thank you, Eternal Father, for all that you're doing in our lives. We ask God that you give us peace, that you bless us, and that you touch us afresh, even on tonight. I pray, Eternal God, that you touch our minds and touch our hearts. Yes. That the word of God might rest upon us. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the word of God. As we come, Lord God, to hear your word. Father, let the word of God move over social media. Let it touch the hearts of every believer. Oh God, touch our minds, Lord God. Give us revelation, knowledge, and wisdom that you be glorified. Father, we thank you for all that you're doing, all that you're about to do. As we pray and ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on in, Brother Mike. Amen. Amen. Cousin Brenda, amen. Sister Lakeisha, y'all come on in. As we endeavor to pick back up and study the prayer of the Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 1. As I stated, there are two prayers. One is in Ephesians 1, and then the other one is in Ephesians chapter 3. Amen. We want to uh, continue to get an understanding of why he is praying for the church. The church. Amen. It's a body of baptized believers that are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says by one spirit are we all born into one body. It takes the spirit of God to put us in the church. Amen. You can be in the building and not be in the church. Yes, sir. Amen. It takes the spirit of God, the power of God. Amen. And so last week, we finished up with the first aspect of his prayer in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse uh, uh, 6. We're in 16, 17, 18, and 19 is the prayer. 17, 18, and 19 is the prayer. We finished up last week with the first aspect of the Apostle Paul's prayer, and we ended up solving the mystery of God, the Father, and Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I put the titles on the board and we solved the mystery. Somebody tell me what the mystery was. The mystery of godliness. God. They're all three or one. Oh, amen. Okay. That was the mystery of godliness. God the Father. Amen. I think I'm in the right church. Amen. <laughs> 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 maybe I turned the wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe I turned into the Jehovah's Witness building across the street. Hopefully, I'm in the right place. Amen. Look, God Almighty. Amen. Thank you. And so, um, Ephesians chapter one, verse sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That those three are only one. Today, we're going to look at the second aspect of Paul's prayer, and he says this. He says uh, in verse. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus uh, Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So we talked about that, revelation and wisdom on the knowledge of who God is. Amen. Because yeah. you could be in the church and still not know who God is. That's right. That's right. You can know a little bit about God. Yeah. yeah. But not know who he is. You can know about Jesus and still not know about God. That's right. <laughs> you can know about God and not know about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because he says that only whom the Father reveals himself to will know about him. Amen. And so uh, Paul prays for the church. He's not praying for those out in the street. He's praying for the church. That yeah. uh, God may give them the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and knowledge of him. 
Yes. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's not that they're not getting knowledge, but they rejected knowledge. Yes. And so you get knowledge by reading, praying, coming to Bible study. Amen. Uh, that's how you get knowledge. He says that they're destroyed. This is the first part of his prayer. The second part of his prayer is what we're going to talk about tonight that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Lord bless you, Sister Sheila. Come on in, you and Melissa. And uh, Sister Rosalind Heisen, come on in. Amen. <laughs> yes. And so, he wants your eyes of your understanding to be enlightened. Yes. Amen. That your understanding have eyes. And that the light shines in. Understanding, you can have something and not understand how to use it. That's right. Who's ever bought something and understand how to use it? Yeah. Yeah. Even after reading the directions. Oh, yeah. This thing not work my God. Now, I know all of y'all probably in here bought something and looked at the direction and couldn't put it together. But well, when you did put it together, like this, and one leg was missing, then you had a whole bunch of stuff left over. <laughs> right? I've done that. When you do the leftover stuff, just throw it away. I got it some kind of way. Right? Little box. And so, and so, Paul, the Apostle Paul, wants us to understand who God is. Yeah. And that comes by revelation. God has to reveal his word to you. Somebody tell me how God's word is revealed to you. How does God reveal his word? How would God reveal his word? Brother Pedro. Prayer. If you're praying, God can reveal his word through prayer. Preaching. Through preaching. What do you say, Brother Hezekiah? Through hearing. Through preaching. Through, pre through preaching. God reveals his speak. Through studying. Fasting. God will reveal his self to you. Yeah. Right? I'm not asking trick questions. Y'all look at me like when I ask questions. I have a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> How about visions? Through visions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He will reveal himself to you through visions. He will show you something. Yeah. God, through, through, dreams. Yeah. through dreams. Through dreams. God will reveal himself to you. God will reveal himself to you. How about this? Through situations. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Through situations. Yes, sir. God will take situations and reveal himself to you. Right? If you're sick, he will reveal to you that he can heal you. He's a healer. If you're going through a difficult time and uh, people are against you and they're lying yeah. on you, yeah. God will reveal to you that he's a battle axe. Uh -huh. He's a warrior. He'll fight on your behalf. Yeah. Amen. And so yeah. these are ways that God reveals himself to man. Right? That's why the Bible says faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Yeah. And then God reveals. Mm -hmm. It's because God illuminates each and every one of us with a certain level of faith. Yes, sir. Everybody doesn't have the same giftings. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gift is different. That's right. Right. Yeah. So if I would say, uh, by the raising of your hand, uh, and this ain't what I'm talking about, but I just, I'm just curious. I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nosy. So how many of y'all know what your gift is? Raise your hand. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know because if I ask, if you ask, and then if you give, I'm gonna have to tell you, no, you're wrong. And so I, I, I don't want to know because I already know. You, you'd have to be crazy to think that God would call a man to lead people and not know who's gifted in the house of God. Yes, sir. That's yeah. good. And so I don't want nobody to boast of himself of a false gift. <laughs> the Bible right. said a man that boasts himself of a false gift is like a cloud wow. without right. rain or water. Right? Yes, sir. And so y'all y'all keep that to yourself. And then tell, and 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 and, and, uh, and then I'll ask you some other time, and then see if you got the same answer. Huh? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, hear what the Bible says about understanding in the Book of Proverbs, chapter uh, two. Uh, verse 1, 2, 3, Sister Sierra, and then Sister Natasha is going to read uh, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Yeah. 
Joe, my, listen to this. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. Mm -hmm. If thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and follow the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Yeah, and so, and so I want you to see that he said the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. How do I get understand? How do I get my eyes, my understanding to see? But he's trying to say, how do I get my understanding to see God and to understand God? And he says, uh, number one, you got to incline your ear to wisdom. Yes, and sir. you have to apply yourself to understand. Glory to God. You have to apply yourself. Yes. You'll never get understanding if you don't apply yourself. It would never happen. Apply yourself to what? You have to apply yourself to seeking after God, right? To read in the scriptures, right? If you don't open a book and you don't read and you don't pray and you don't fast and ask yes. God, talk to God. Yes. I talk to God. God, what does that mean? Give me understanding. Yes, sir. If you don't do that, then you're not going to get understanding. You have to apply yourself. Even if you get understanding from the word that's being taught, yeah. if you sit here and don't receive it and then take it and then apply it to your life, you'll never understand. Yes. Remember, the Bible says not only the hearers of the word is Doers. justified before God, but the what? Doers. 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 Yeah. Doers. The doers. The doers. And so he said you got to apply for understanding. Then you got to cry for knowledge. And then you got to lift up your voice for understanding. You got to pray. Like I told you, God came in my room when I was newly saved and said, pray for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right? God spoke that to me just like I'm talking to you. Right now, God spoke to me just like that. Pray for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Amen. He didn't have to tell me twice. I slid off that bed. <laughs> And so you have to apply yourself to get understanding. Then you have to seek for it. Like it's a hidden treasure. Yes, sir. Because God wants to see, do you really want to know who he is? And he'll reveal it to you. Right? You got to, you got to show God how bad that you want it. Yes. Understand. Right? If you if you say, oh, I, I just do a little bit, just get by, you're not going to find out who God is. You got to search for it. Yes, then he uses the analogy as if you're seeking silver or hidden treasure. Now, you got to search for it like you're going after a hidden treasure. Yes, sir. Now, now, now that's how some of y'all have got to pursue God. Like it was treasure. Now, if I said out here behind the church, I dug a hole earlier and I put a treasure trunk in there and it had gold, silver, and it had about a million dollars in cash. Y'all be tripping over one though trying to go out there and dig it up. <laughs> That's how you got to seek y'all. Yes, y'all be pushing. I need a metal detector. I need a shovel. Somebody give me a shovel. I imagine what be going on out there behind that yes, church. Sir. Amen. Somebody probably hit somebody with a shovel. Yes, sir. No, I was digging here first. I was here first. Oh, yeah. For money. Yeah. So that's how you got to seek after the understanding of God. You got to seek it with your whole heart. You got to seek after God, uh, uh, Sister Tamika Bishop. You got to seek after God. You got to you got to go after Him. Then He said, "Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord, for the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom." And then He said, "And then you're gonna find knowledge when you fear God." Yes. You're gonna begin to find knowledge. Yes, sir. If you don't fear God, Amen. You're not gonna understand God. You're not gonna find knowledge. Yes, sir. You're looking for somebody who's hungry and thirsty. After righteousness. Amen. Like you're hungry. Am I hungry? See, you, you've got to, uh, Sister Risa said something to me uh, the other day. And uh, and uh, I'm glad she said that. Uh, that's the way I think. That's the way we think. Me and my wife, we started the ministry. That's the way she, I, I think. 
times and so she looked at me now like what did I say what did he say I said I don't remember what I said I say so much I don't know what I said <laughs> and so we we're talking about the service on Sunday and then we we're talking about how God moved on Sunday and yes. God moved on Sunday oh, yeah. oh my God what a move of God oh. That's a power. What a move of God. 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 Amen. And uh, uh, what a move of God. Amen. And uh, and uh, we were talking about it. And as we were talking about it, she made this statement. She said, you know, yes, what a move of God. And God turned that thing. God, she said, but you know what? There's always a move of God. Mm-hmm. But some moves are greater than other moves. That's right. Yeah. This was a great move of God. Oh, yes. Right? And, but there's always a move yes, sir. of God. Everybody say amen to that. Amen. 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 Don't say it if you believe it. Amen. amen. There's always a move of God in our services. Yes, yes sir. Always. You can feel the presence of God in our Bible study. You can feel the presence yes, of God sir. in our services. Yes, sir. Strong presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so she said, uh, there's always a move of God. And she said, um, and she said, uh, and I don't want to get, I can't think of the word she used now. I don't want to take it for granted. That's what she said. I don't no, want to no. take it for granted. That's, right, sister, sister. That's why she said, I come to church with expectations Always. every Sunday, Amen. every Always. Thursday. That's I come right. with expectation because I don't want to take God's presence for granted. Amen. And sometimes you will never understand the move of God and what God is doing, except you go somewhere else. Oh, yeah. And you go to somewhere else, they don't have moves no of God. No way. It's dead in there. See, when you're just used to here right now, see, you, you don't even know you're being spoiled. That's right, Pastor. Until you go somewhere else. Yeah. And you realize you don't feel God like that. That's right. You don't experience moves of God like that. Yeah. Who's, who's ever been in more church than in here? For a spirit of time, been in a church for a spirit of time. Many, many, yes, yeah, sir. No. The church is for a spirit of time. Any, any time, any period of time. Yeah. Right. We ain't talking about over there. To where you were going. They ain't in church over there. Okay. <laughs> I told my I was going to Maine Westland. And I told my friend that she just was talking about Maine Westland. I felt nothing. Nothing. It's nothing when I went in there. You know why? Because the man told me this. He said, We're 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 almost method meth what is it? Method Costal. Method Methodist and Pentecostal. We're almost method costal. We do everything but speak in tongues over here. So 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 that tells you right there what's over there. <laughs> right? That's a good Not nobody. And so and so and so when you go into these dead places, you go into these dead places, then you realize, you realize, wow, they're not moves of God no. in these dead places. It's the keyboard. That's right. Yeah. Emotion. That's right. Pastor. It's emotionalism. Yeah. Some of it is manufactured. Yes, sir. Sure mm -hmm. is. A lot of bondage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A lot of bondage. A lot of manufacturer stuff, top of line in a lot of these places. Oh yes. And uh, we don't we don't have no instruments yet in yes. our church. Musicians yes. yet. Not yet. Yes. Right. Not yet. And so God doesn't move on emotion. No. When God moves, he moves by his power. Oh, wow. And he moves by the word of God. Yes. So you get no you get no emotion there. You ain't getting any emotionless. No. You feeling the unadulterated truth you got the power power of God. Of God's right. word. Yep. Amen. Amen. And that's why you're not going to get that everywhere. No. Not at all. I'm not saying this is the only place of God. Right. But you go and search and find, see what you find. You're not going to get it. No, no. You're not going to get it. What you're going to get is broke pocketbooks. Yep. And yep. broke wallets. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're going to get it. And a whole bunch of music. Right? A whole yep. bunch of music trying to pump the preacher yep. up. Fifteen minutes. And then people shouting off the music, yeah. and then they going home, and their lives are never changed. Yeah. And so, and so he says, "You got to seek that understanding." Yes, sir. And then uh, the Lord will find you'll find knowledge, for the Lord giveth wisdom. I want to get to his uh, Proverbs two and verse six. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge, knowledge. and understanding. You want to understand, you got to get it out of the mouth of God. Yes, Pastor. That's why I ask you, how does God deal with you? How does God speak with you? Right? And you have to hear it from God. God. Everybody that's speaking ain't speaking by God. Right. That's right. Right? But when you speak by God, you get understanding. Yes, sir. You get to feel the power of God. Let me give you an example. A quick example. i got to move on. I'll give you a quick example. Well, I several people come to me 
Uh, not that I'm anything, because I'm nothing. <laughs> and so all I do is say what God tells me to do and say. God knows one thing about me. He can trust me to do and say. That's what right. That's yeah, right. In contrary of who cares, of who, who likes it or who don't like it, God knows that I'd be the one that will say it. So God told me. That's true. Yeah, God told me. That's why he told me I can trust you. That's right. Yes, sir. I can trust you because, number one, you always bring the people to give me glory. Number yes, one. Sir. Number two, I can trust you because whatever I tell you, you're going you to sugarcoat it. Nope. You're going to come with it. It's just right, sure. raw. Right. That's the only way I know how to do it. Tell me what he said. Because I don't want to alter it. No. I, don't, I don't want to change it. I want to have its full effect. That's right. Right. Brother, be That's good right. or brother, right. be bad. Right. So, so he, knows, right. he knows that I'll do that. That's the good thing about it, right? God knows I'll do that. People get mad sometimes. People get mad. Right? People get mad. People get mad. God talking to them, they say I'm mad at the pastor. The pastor, the pastor said talking about me. Oh, God talking about you. <laughs> I don't know nothing about you. Right? Love you, though, but I don't know nothing about you. And, uh, and so it has to come out of God's mouth. That's right. Knowledge yeah. comes from God. And you can go to Bible college all you want. Yeah. You can have 18 degrees and still not know the Word of God. That's right, Pastor. That's, right. That's right. Seeking after man's wisdom and understanding, not the wisdom of God. And so, it's the Lord that gives us understanding. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse number 7. Uh, uh, Sister uh, Keisha. In the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse number 7. Consider what I say. Consider it. Listen to what I say. This is what the word of God said. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Who will give you understanding? The Lord. The Lord in some things. All. all things. In all things. That's why you got to seek them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to seek them. Just like you said, just like a treasure. You got to seek them more yes, than you want to seek anything in this world. You got to seek God. God must have the number one priority. Yes, Pastor. And then he will reveal himself to you. Yes. When you seek him with your whole heart. Yes, sir. Right? Then just don't, just don't, just don't stop yeah. at getting baptized and getting the Holy Ghost. That's right. right. Because there are deeper depths and higher heights in yes, God. Sir. That's just the foundation. But you still yeah. got to grow in grace. That's right. And in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We got to grow. And so it's how hungry you are yes. that's going to depict how much you grow. Uh -huh. If we had two children right here, and one of them drank a half a bottle. And one of them ate, drank four bottles, right? Who you think will grow the most? Four bottles. Yeah. So what you feed the most is gonna do what? Grow the most. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you feed your inner man, you gonna grow. That's right. Right. And that's why there's different levels of growth in the church. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, especially if you got new people coming. Yeah, in. sir. Right. But but it's not okay when you've been around a while and you still don't know nothing. Did I say that? You still don't know nothing. That's good. That's bad. <laughs> that lets me know that you're not seeking after the understanding of God like a treasure. That lets me know you're seeking after something else. It, that means you're seeking after something else other than God. Is it money? Is it a husband? Is it a wife? Is it a home? Is it prestige? Mm -hmm. Is it friendship? You want to be liked by everybody. That means that to me that you're seeking after something else other than the Lord. Is it the things of the world? Oh my, yeah. That's right for me. Because God expects us to grow. That's right. That's right. right? <laughs> when, when we're babes, we, we need milk. That's right. Right? The milk nourishes us and causes us to grow. That's why God's desire to seal milk of the world. Yes. That you might grow thereby. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm, I'm teaching right now. I'm learning right now. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting going now. I heard my engine going. <laughs> and so, and so, and so, you, you need that spiritual milk. Right. Yes. But when I was a child, I acted like a child and I thought like a child. Right. But when I became a man, right. I put away what? Childish. Childish. Childish things. Now I'm mature. Right. And right. so you don't want a baby. 
uh, doesn't want his bottle no more, Toss it. he spits it out and begins to chew a hole in the nipple of the bottle. When the people start doing that, it don't want no more bottle. It's ready for some solid food. So mature saints ought to be ready for some meat. And the Bible says, strong meat. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I want you to miss it. The Bible says, strong meat belongs to them by reason of discernment that they can discern between that which is good and that which is evil. Right? And so you're not ready for strong meat if you can't discern when you're in evil and what you think it is good is really evil. Yeah. You're not ready for no meat. You still need that bottle. Put <laughs> them on your shoulder, Kyle. <laughs> Somebody get Red Burke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, you, don't, you don't need no steak. You can't give a baby a porterhouse. No. You can choke the baby. That's sure well. That's why the word of God is designed. Are you listening to me? It's designed when it comes forth that even a baby can be fed. That's right. As well as the adult uh -huh. sitting in the church. God wants everybody to eat. That's why he who teaches and preaches must be skilled. Skilled. That's the word for you, skilled. Yeah. People don't like it when you say you're skilled. You have to be skilled. Skill come from God. Don't come from come from God. You have to be skilled enough to feed everybody. So that the babes can eat. And then the adults who are mature yeah. aren't sitting there drinking milk. Yes, sir. They, they can eat the steak. Mm -hmm. You can't just bring steak to everybody, or you're gonna kill the babes. You can't keep giving milk to everybody or you're going to kill the mature ones. But it's a skill yeah. that everybody gets something from God. Amen. Amen. So everybody will be getting something from God. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Then you can see them people get understanding. They start to grow. Yes, sir. How do you know when you start to grow? You're seeking more. You don't think the same. You start to change. You don't, you're think, the same. You don't think the same. Just talk, your speech change. People want to get away from you. You get hungry for more. You want more? What'd you say? Actions. Your actions, you begin to change. What what piqued your interest before don't pique your interest no more. Uh, right. Right. Uh, the same folk that used to ha ha and ha ha with, they, they, they become, you don't want to be around them no more. Right. Because they ain't talking like you talk. That's right. Now. You, you know you're growing spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know that you're taking those things that used to at one time, you had trouble tripping over. Now, those things ain't tripping you up no more. That's right. Because you're maturing and you're growing. That's right. right? It took Israel 40 years. Yeah. Going around that same mountain. Same old mountain. That was a three day journey. Yes, sir. Yes, Took them 40 years. That older generation, mature generation, died in the wilderness. That's right. Never made it over. Only the babies that were born in Joshua's generation came out of that desert. We call them de desert babies. Joshua and Caleb. Amen. Yep. Thank you. Come on up here. I'll let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> Only Joshua and Caleb. And the rest of them were baby, desert babies. That's right. Because the adults couldn't understand. No. Nope. Right? They couldn't understand the God that was leading them. That's right. That same God that parted the Red Sea. They couldn't understand that same God that freed them from captivity provide was the all. same God that was going to provide for them every step of yeah. the way. They couldn't understand that. That's right, Pastor. So they doubted God. They complained. Oh, yeah. You know, when you become mature and you begin to change, you get growing God. Mm -hmm. You get growing God. You don't. You, you get unsatisfied. That's good. Where you're at, you want more. That's right. right. See, when when God touches you, glory be to God, and He touches you right. That's right. Uh, you you you'll never be satisfied. Never. With mediocrity. That's right. Yeah. You'll want more of God. Yes, sir. You want more of God. Uh, when God revealed himself to me, mm. 
that made me to hunger after God more. Yes, sir. I took it up a notch. Yes, sir. See, you, can, you can't stay. Sorry to stay at this level. That's right. If you're at that level. Uh huh. But then you grow to that level. Yeah. As long as you're growing, you grow at that level. Uh huh. But once you got up to this level, That's there's nobody right. in the world that you can go back yeah, down to that level. down again. That's right. There must be a hunger. Yes, sir. And so, to understand God, I know that I have to seek Him with my whole heart. Yep. I've got to come after Him. He says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. The eyes of your understanding mean that we might be able to see spiritually. Yes. Hmm. Yes, sir. See, some people can't see spiritually. And it's okay because when a baby is born, y'all listening to me, when a baby is born, yes. a baby has to refocus and see. baby can't see all of a sudden. Eventually, the baby's eyes get open and they begin to see and look around. I don't know about what month, how many weeks does the baby can really see anything? Yeah, could be three weeks, could be two weeks. So the baby, I've seen babies, you hold them up and they go like this. Because they can't focus. And you talking about that? Hey, boo -boo. They were like, man, I can't see you. It's like you were 12 of you. The baby can't focus. And so a babe, a person that first starting out, it's going to take them a while to see spiritually. That's why you got to get under good teaching. Get good understanding. Yes, sir. And know, first of all, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God. To the pulling down the strong yeah. casting down imagination, Amen. and every high thing that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. Right? You got to understand that we don't fight no, sir. against flesh and blood, no. mm -hmm. but against principalities and powers, yeah. spiritual wickedness, rulers yeah. of darkness yeah. in high places. Yes. Yeah. Right. So this is spiritual eyesight. Yeah. Right. You got to know. Amen. Spiritual eyesight, you got to be able to see. Huh? Whoa, whoa. Can't go there. That's a trap. Uh huh. That's a trap, lady folk. Now, if I go there, I'm going to fall into that trap. Uh, yeah. But when you don't have spiritual insight, that means you're blind. Uh huh. And then you'll fall into a trap. Yes, sir. That's why David prayed and said, Lord, enlarge oh, my, my step. Uh -huh. <laughs> enlarge my step. Yeah. Right? Allow me. Let your word be a light unto my path, a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Yes, sir. Right? And so, you have to be able to see spiritually. Yes, sir. You have to be able to see. You have to be able to see and understand where the devil is trying to take you. Because yes, if you don't, he'll take you there every time. Right. You've got to see. I've been down this road before. Uh -huh. yes, and nothing yeah. new, good came out of that. So I'm going to stop this right now before you can get started. Amen. 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 I've been here before. That's seeing spiritually. That's maturity. Yeah. Tasha brought a glass and that was she serious. Huh? I <laughs> you got serious on y'all now. You got to see what's going on in here. <laughs> you, you, you don't want to keep going down the same trap door. That's right, Pastor. You, you ever you ever been going through something and then you said, wait a minute, I see what the devil's trying to do. Let me cut this off right here. I see what he's trying to do. Yep. Uh, I see what he, I see where he's trying to take me. Yes, sir. Now, 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 some people can't see yet. Right. They don't want right. to see. Right. <laughs> they don't want to see. They, 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 they see, but they really don't want to see. Right. And uh, so they'll go. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to see. <laughs> they don't really want to see. And then they say, oh, wow, man, the devil got me again, no. Uh, the devil, gotcha. you, you got yourself again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give the devil too much credit. So he talks about, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, I got to talk like this. Because yeah. I want you to see yourself. Yes, right? Right? This helps somebody, I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to help you. Amen. Because you, you can walk for too long and be blind right. and become blinded forever. Yes. The Bible talks about groping in a wall. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to be spiritually blind. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Amen. You want to be able to see. Yes, sir. Amen. So, it is uh, the eyes of your understanding means that 
we might be able to see spiritually, to understand by enlightenment. The Apostle Peter said, I remember the former days in which you were, uh, uh, I was enlightened. Illuminated. Use the word illuminated. I remember the former days when I was illuminated. Now let's let me give you a little bit about that word illumination. He said, I remember the former days when I was illuminated. Now, I don't know about you. That's right. But I know when I received the Holy Ghost, I was illuminated. Yes, sir. By the light. Yeah. By the light. Yes, sir. When I got back to myself and got out of that car where I was praying, the trees seemed greener. The sky seemed blue. People seemed different. I felt like I was in a different creation. Yeah. Why? Because I was illuminated yes, sir. by the presence of God. Yes. I'll tell you, speaking of illumination, i tell you how I know that this is how I know. I'm talking about me. This ain't got to be your situation. This is my situation. Your situation might be something different. Yeah. This is my situation. I can know when God wants to talk to me. Or want me to talk to him. And I can go and be laying in bed and it'd be dark in the room. Uh -huh. I am in the third snow. <laughs> and uh, it's dark and I'm asleep. And all of a sudden, light will come on. I'm talking about a bright light. I know God will think I'm talking about. I can get up in the morning, about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Come back and get in the bed and close my eyes and whew, I got to get up and go pray because the light is illuminating. He's calling me. Yeah. He wants me to come into the light. That's good, Pastor. He is the light. That's right. He's the light of the world. That's right. And that's why when God shows you dreams and visions, they're illuminated with the glory of God. Uh -huh. That's yeah. how you know the difference between a dream of God and just, just a pizza dream, big too much pizza, <laughs> big feet and chitter. Yeah. <laughs> and you think you dreaming. Because God's dreams are illuminated. Who knows what I'm talking about if they're illuminated? They're illuminated by the golden presence of God, God the Shekinah yeah. glory. Yes, sir. And it looks like you're standing there watching everything happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you're like you're in a movie. That's right. And you see everything. You see yourself. Yes. And they're illuminated because God's presence is there. Now, mm -hmm. uh, this this is my case. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all might go lay down and darkness come on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Gross darkness. Oh, wow. <laughs> that ain't the Lord. <laughs> Because he's light. Yes, sir. He's light. He illuminates. And so he's calling us all to the light. I want you to know that. He's calling you all to the light. So that we can get understanding of who God is. Right? And so anybody ever had an experience where God showed you something that was illuminated? Amen. I know visions are illuminated. Mm -hmm. You can see, yeah. right? So God has to bring light in. Yeah. He has to bring light in. It, the light, allows us to see beneath the surface. Yeah. Glory to God. If there is no light, then you can't see to get understanding. That's why it's illuminated with light. So that I can see into what God is saying. Right? So people read scriptures, they read the Bible, and they read the Bible with limited understanding because they're reading from the surface. Yes, sir. But when God illuminates the word mm -hmm. and pull the words off the pages, yes. that's how he does me. Mm -hmm. He illuminates it and pulls it off the pages. Then he gives me understanding. Okay. Right? Yes, sir. You can read something and never get understanding. No. That don't mean you stop reading, just keep on no. reading. Right? Mm -hmm. Just keep on reading. The devil wants to get you to stop reading. Just keep on reading. But you can read and God show you nothing, then read another week later 
Amen. and read a verse, and yeah. God shoo, illuminate yes, you. Yes, sir. And reveal to you in His Word what He's saying. Yes, sir. Right. And so, and so, just like Sunday when I when when God gave me the Word in the Book of Job about Him having brothers, brothers. and sisters and acquaintance. I read Job. I don't know how long, and I never knew he had mm -hmm. family members. Mm. Did y'all know that? Mm. I never knew he had brothers and sisters. Because when you hear people preach and teach about, they only talk about Job and his three friends. That's right. But there it is right there in the word of God. Chapter 19. And if God didn't illuminate it and reveal it to me, mm -hmm. I would have just read over it, read past it. Mm -hmm. But when God gives light and reveals, then I know God yes. wants me Amen. right there. Yep. Because he's trying to give me understanding of what he's saying. Yes. Right? That's why when you pray, I want y'all to get this. I'm trying to help somebody. See, I feel the Holy Ghost. And I, and I hope I ain't going to over here. I know, I know I got some babies in here that got on uh, diapers and uh, and uh, 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 pull-ups and stuff like that. But uh, 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 this can help you too. Right? It can help you too. But people laugh. It can help you too. That's why when you pray, yeah, when you pray. Mm -hmm. You, you, you feel God in your prayer. Mm -hmm. You know something is getting ready to happen. Yes, sir. That's why it's good to be still. Mm -hmm. Stop praying. Yes. And wait for God mm -hmm. to reveal himself to you. Yeah. Amen. See, we've been taught that prayer is just praying to God, but prayer is a two-way communication. Right. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. And so that's why when you pray, uh, spend time not only praying, but spend time being quiet Boy. before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Uh, you'll hear Him speak when you're quiet before Him. Uh, God will speak to you. God will say, Matthew chapter 7. Or He'll give you a scripture in That's the right. Bible yes, sir. when you're quiet. He might just, while you're quiet before Him, show you a vision of the Bible, the pages turning to Luke 13. Yep. And you know that's God speaking to you. Who's God ever done that to you? I know he showed you scriptures. Amen, right? Amen. Amen. Raise your hand. So he's done that to you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Who up? Amen. Amen. Who up? Amen. Yeah. God will show you things. Mm -hmm. And God, when he shows them that you, that's God speaking to you. Yes, sir. I just read the scripture that the, that the understanding comes by the voice of God. Voice of God. That's, right. that's God speaking to you and your situation. Yes, that's why it's good to be still and know that he's God. Yes, yes. In the Lord quiet said. time. That's why y'all got to Glory yeah. to God. See, prayer excites me. Right? That's why y'all got to get up and pray and be quiet before the Lord. Yes, sir. Right? You got you got you got the children going wild. You got busy day of things going on, going on. You got your mind racing. Yeah. You got things going on that you want to do. That's why you got to wait until it's quiet. Yes, yes sir. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, He that dwelleth in the secret place, secret place of, of the Most High yes. shall abide under the shadow shall of the Almighty. Right. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my strength. How can I say that? Because God has revealed something to Yes, Pastor. Because I got in that quiet place. Yes. Now, if you're having trouble just with the first part, seeking God in prayer, first you got to get in prayer. That's right. Don't, 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 don't give the world and your job everything. That's when it comes down to prayer, you got nothing to give. You know how y'all do. Now I lay me down to sleep. Pray the Lord. It's okay. Thank the Lord. I'm going to sleep. Oh, my God. I'm tired. I had a long day. I'm tired. I'm tired. I worked all day. Well, you should have prayed before you went and watched television for four hours. Oh, my. You should have prayed before you got on the Xbox. You should have prayed before you went and done something else. So you yes, can spend sir. some time with God. Amen. Oh, I know I'm talking right here. Right. Right. He'll never reveal something to you. He'll never do nothing to you. You're right, God. Yeah. 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 Amen. Thank you. Amen. I got somebody's attention. Amen. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, Sister Teresa. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13, 14 and 15, and 16, 
And then Brother Domingo is going to read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Let me give you an example here. Let me give you an example of light and darkness and revelation. Let me give you an example. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Of one. I want you to listen to this. Okay, she's going to start with verse 13. Unlike Moses, who put a veil over his face so that the children of Israel could not look steadily at the end of what was passing away, but their minds were blinded. But until this day, the same veil remains unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament because the veil is taken away in Christ. Mm hmm. But even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil lies on their heart. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Yes, and so uh, the Jews <clears throat> and Israelites in Israel, they're under a veil of darkness. Yes, sir. When it comes to knowing who Jesus is. Because they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Yes, sir. They're waiting for Jesus to come the first time. Yeah. Even right now. That's why the Bible says he came unto his own. And his own received him not. Yeah. Right? But as many that did receive him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. Yes, sir. Even to them that believed on his name. The Bible tells in the book of Romans that blindness in part happened to the Jews that we the Gentiles might be saved. So they have a veil over them, a covering of darkness. They don't know who the Lord is. That's true. They're God's chosen people. That's right. Right? That's right? They have a covering. Yes. They're in darkness to the knowledge oh, of who says. Jesus yeah. really is. All right? Now watch this. Verse uh, 17 and 18. Brother Domingo. No, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 17. verse 17 and 18. Now the Lord is the Spirit. Mm -hmm. and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. But we all, we open faith, behold him in the glass of the glory of the Lord. Mm hmm. Amen. And so here they are yeah. under a veil. But he says, now where the Spirit of the Lord is, mm -hmm. there is liberty. Yes. <laughs> and that liberty unlists the veil. Yeah. And when it unlists the veil, it gives knowledge. Yes, right. And when it gives knowledge, it says, but we all with open face to face in the glass, talking about a mirror, are changed into his same image from glory to glory even by the Spirit of God. So where a mirror is, it's the light that reflects who God is. So that's the desire that we all should have in our hearts. Same I want to be changed into that image yeah. from glory to glory. Amen. Right? So that when God, I look in the mirror, I don't see me. No, I see Christ. Amen. I see Christ in me, the hope of glory. Amen. Right? So we're changing to if, if you keep seeing you, there's a problem. That's there is no, somebody said it earlier. How do you know that you're growing? Somebody said there's a change. If you don't see a change, if you keep seeing you, then that's a problem. Yes, sir. If you keep getting in the way, there's no growth. That's good, Pastor. Yeah. That's why Paul says, I die daily. Mm -hmm. There has to be a death of you mm -hmm. and change into the image of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. You got to be changed into the image of the Lord. How, what, what image is God? You, you can go read the fruits of the Spirit. Right. Joy, peace, love, long suffering, temperance, kindness. That's his image. Yes. That's his like that's the fruits of the Spirit. It's like you know you got it. There's a change that's gonna take place. If you say that you got him, but you don't see no change, then you've not been you 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 you're not been in his glory. Right. 
in his glory and in his presence. Y'all looking at me like I lost my mind. In his glory and in his presence. You don't do what you used to do. There's a change. I don't care how subtle it is, but it's a change. You have a desire to be like Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Right? Amen. When you really got a hold of God, you hate everything about this flesh. That's right. Paul says, oh, wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me of this body of death? I thank God through Jesus Christ. Amen. So, so you, you begin to hate yes. the old nature. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't brag about the old nature. No. That's right. You don't carry the old nature around. You, you think about what you did in the past and you're mad at yourself. That's yes. right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you're mad at yourself. I get mad at myself. Y'all get mad at yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How dumb could I have been? Right. How dumb could I be, man? Wow. Yeah. But, 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 some people don't have that nature to change. Yeah. They're waiting for something to happen. You got to want to change. Yes. 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 Now, you got to choose right. to do better. That's right. That's right. God, God, I want y'all to get this, and I want you to get a good hold of it. For all y'all who said that you know what you get here. God is not going to use you to walk or work in no gift. And you don't even know who he is. Yes. That's right. Are you listening to me? That's good. Yeah. God is not going to operate no gift in your life, and you don't make an attempt to have no changes. Right. You know why? You know why? Because you're going to mess somebody up, mm -hmm. or you're going to mess something up. That's right. Yeah. Right? That's right. That vessel has to be meek for God to use. Right? You see, God use people—not perfect people, but nobody's perfect. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you see God use people who have matured and they understand and realize that I got God in me. I wish somebody would know they got God in me. When I know I got God, he, he chose me. Out of all the people in the world, he chose me to live in. Yes, sir. He chose me. Amen. That's right. And because he chose me. I realize I got to take care of this temple. That's right. <laughs> Glory be to God. That's right. I got to take care of this temple. Yeah. And the more you surrender, the more God will use you. Yes, God. Amen. Man, I don't think I'm going to get through this. Y'all tougher tonight. <laughs> so, here's, let me give you this. So, what I just read, Israel, they had a form of godliness, but not the power. Right. They thought their own righteousness supersede the righteousness of God. And so because of that, here's something that can blind you and won't let you come to the light. Religion. Yes. Oh, yes. Religion. Yes. Religion mm -hmm. can blind you. Yes. That's right. <laughs> That's there right. are a lot of religious people. Mm -hmm. But they don't have much light. Yes, sir, Pastor. Because they don't have a relationship with God. That brings life. Religion can kill and keep you blinded. Can blind your mind. Also, traditions. Yes. Traditions of man. Traditions of man can kill the light, keep you blinded. You'd be surprised that how many people all of a sudden have set in the truth, know what the truth is, and they wind up following a lie. That's right, Pastor. Yes, sir. It good. can keep you blinded mm -hmm. by traditions of people. Yes. Right? I know a lot of people, even right now, some of y'all know some too. I know a lot of people who are so stuck in tradition, mm -hmm. and they look the part, they dress the part. Wow. Yep. They don't have no power. They don't have no, no relationship with God. No. No. And uh, they go to church on Sunday. Yes, sir. And they hoot and holler. Yep. Show off. Yep. Go home. And they just as mean and nasty as anything in the world. That's good, God. Yes, sir. I know people like yep. that. People say they're church folks. Yep. That's people say they're sanctified. 
they got it just like the Bible says. They got it right. Yeah. They got no joy. No, that's right. That's good. Man. No peace. Yeah. And very little power. That's right. Yes. That's right. Educated. Yeah. Educated. Now, look at 2 Corinthians, Brother Pedro, chapter 4, verse 3 and 4. Oh, my. Second mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter four, verse three and four. Read that for us. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Mm -hmm. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the uh, glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of God, should shine upon, uh, unto them. Yes. And so, and so uh, Satan blinds people's minds. Yes, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Satan keeps people in darkness. Yes. Satan lies to people. Sir. Satan, amen, will keep your mind. He said, if this gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are already lost. That's right. How do they get lost? The yes. God of this world That's right. has blinded the minds of them That's that Satan. believe not. Yes, sir. And you're trying to figure out why don't they believe. Satan has blinded them. That's good, Pastor. Yes, sir. Unless the glorious light of a gospel, you hear what it called a gospel, mm -hmm. the light of a gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, yeah. should shine under them. That's the only way they're going to come out of that darkness. Oh, that's good. Yes, sir. And that gospel must be preached. Yes. And the light must go on. Right. Right? Because the devil has them stuck in blindness. That they can't see. Pastor, and how can they say they have the Holy Ghost? Because with the Holy Ghost, God's already flooding you with the light. Well, uh, the Bible says, Brother Fred, that some of them, they have a form of godliness. The light. But denying the power of their own. Okay. See, Satan is darkness. God is light. In him, there is no darkness at all. That's right. And so he blinds the people mm -hmm. with fake and false knowledge. Oh, that makes sense, Pastor. Yeah. Somebody will, I'm telling you, if all people would just know some of the things that I've heard, some of the things that I see, some of the things that these people say, mm -hmm. that the Bible says, and the Bible, all yeah. I got to do is do this, and all I got to yes. do is do that. That's right, Pastor. And the Bible never said that. Mm -hmm. They sitting somewhere, and somebody. The Bible said the blind can't lead the blind. That's right. They'll both fall in the ditch. <laughs> both, that's right. We need the light of the truth of God. Amen. Amen. Right. And so they sit in a place in darkness, mm -hmm. and you're trying to figure out why do they want to believe? You know, people say that they in church. They ain't really in church. I seen some. I went to some. I seen some. They say they in church, but then you might see them covered in liquor store, drunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say they're in church, yeah. but you might see them getting high. Yeah. they in church, but you might see them living any kind of life. Yes, sir. Pretenders. But pretenders. Saying they're in church. That was good. Was the pretenders. Yeah. You're right. They need the light. That's not to say that you can't be saved and have problems. We all have problems. But what I'm saying is that once God illuminates you, yes. And once God touches you, mm -hmm. you ought to have a desire to want to serve the Lord. That's right. And, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 So, Amen. so, he blinds the mind. I got one more scripture. We're going to stop right here. Look at Psalms 63 and 1 through 2. Who had read yet? Who want to read? Oh, Sister Kai. Psalm, look at Psalm 63, verse 1 and 2. Psalm 63. We're going to stop right here. I'll pick this up again a week after next. Yeah. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Yes, and so 
there must be a hunger. Yes, sir. And a thirst. Yes. To see God's glory. I want to be consumed yes, by sir. the light. Yes, sir. Me. I don't know about anybody else. I want the glory. I want to be in His glory. That's right. Yeah. If, if everyone would have the attitude that I'm thirsty for something. Yes, sir. And I'm going to go 100%. Amen. Yes. I want to listen to this. Yes. I'm not going to go 75. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not going to go 50. That's right. No, no, I, I'm going to be sold out. I'm going to give them 100%. Amen. Yes. Of my time and of my effort, I'm going to give it to Amen. the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Why? Because I'm hungry and I'm thirsty for a move of God. I, I, I want to see His glory. Right? And so a lot of times people talk about, oh, I want to see, how many of y'all want to see uh, uh, the dead raised? I'd rather see I know you did. I know you did. You just knows it. I know you did. I know you did. How many of y'all want to see, how many of y'all want to see the blind eyes open? I don't see that. <laughs> How many of y'all want to see your family members saved? Yes. Amen. How many of y'all want to see the sick get healed? Yes. Yes. How many of y'all want to see everybody that come into the church to be a move of God filled them with the Holy Ghost? Yes. Amen. Yes. Be awesome, yes. right? yes. You've got to have a hunger. Yes, sir. See, this is not just going to happen. That's right, Pastor. But you've got to come with expectation. Yes. You've got to put 100% yes, yes, into yes. serving God. Amen. Yes. Could you imagine if everybody in the church was 100% sold out to God? That's right. And we came to church, we came oh. together, That's waiting right. on a move of yes. God. Yes. Anticipating, been praying through the week, That's right. been fasting through the week, turn the TV off, turn the computers off. Say, God, we want to see you move. God, we want to, we want to when we have a family and friends day. We want to see our unsaved family members when they walk through the church. Yes, Pastor. That the glory of God deliver them right then and there. Amen. Yes, sir. I want to see God move. Yes. I want to see God move. I want to see the Amen. sick be healed. Yes. yes. Could you imagine the glory of God when God raises the dead? Could you imagine the anointing? When God uh, uh, calls the lame to walk? Could you imagine the glory that is in the temple? The power that is in the house of yes, God. Pastor, See, that, that, that's what I'm seeking for. That, that, I'm not playing around here. That's what I'm searching for. That's right. Amen. Right? Yes. And because I know that it's the Spirit of God. God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He does not change. It's the people that's right. who have to get in a position yes. to get hungry and thirsty for God. Amen. you got to yes. understand yes. these things only come by searching after the Lord. Amen. That's right. Yeah. I want to see you. Those that the devil has bound yes. to be loosed. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Instead of giving the devil the glory yes. out here drinking, smoking, yep. running crazy, I want to see them in the house of God. That's right. Clapping their hands to the God of the Lord. Amen. I want to see the young woman who's in the occult worshiping the devil. Yes. I want to see her come in here. She got to take off that all black. I want to see her in here with her hands up, lifted, worshiping Amen. God. Amen. Yeah. I want to see the, the alcoholic. That's right. Who the devil has bound that we drive by all the time and won't give them a dollar who's begging for food or money. Yep. I want to see them, amen, the next time when they come in here with an encounter with God, I want to see them on that same corner with a sign saying, come to church. Yeah. Right. God delivered me. In the name of the Lord. That's how my mind thinks. That, that's how my mind thinks. I, I, I want to see people set free. That's right. And if you've got the Spirit of God and the light in you, you ought to want the same thing. Amen. That's right. But you can't want anybody free until you get on board. That's right. That's right, Pastor. A hundred percent. Amen. That's right. When I get in this, I'm going to give it a hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. I like that. I want to give it 100%. I'm not going to get in something and give it 95%. No, no way. I ain't giving something and give it 85%. No way. That's right. I want to get in this and give it 100%. That's right. I'm going to go for it. That's right. I'm going to go for it. So that way I know that it works. Right? Try me. 
the Lord says. That's right. Yeah. Five years Yeah. See what I open up the windows of heaven. Yeah. And pour you out a blessing. That's good. Then there won't be room enough for you to receive. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And so and so you've got to, you've got to, yeah. we've got to, we've got to. We've got to go at it 100%. That's right, Pastor. We've got to let some things go and understand that what you want and praying God for is up to you to get it. Yes, sir. Here's what they do, Brother Hezekiah. Here's what they do. Here's what they do. They say, we want to see the dead raised. We want to see the blind. We want to see all that. But don't keep us in church longer than an hour. Oh, that's right. That's true. They want it to happen on their time. Yes, sir. They want it to happen on their time. That's we want right. to see the dead raised. We want to see the blind see. But but, but don't preach to it too long. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Right? Now don't make us worship too long. We're standing too long. Don't, don't let us sit down. They, 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 they want to see right. God move. Immediately. Right? That's they want right. to see God move. But they don't want to fast. <laughs> they, 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 they want to see God move, but they don't want to sacrifice nothing. That's right, Pastor. They, they want to see God move, but you really can't get them to come to church on Bible study night. can barely get them in there on Sunday, but they want to see God move. They want to see God move, and they want to see God do all this, but they don't want to give God 100%. You got to open up your understanding. Can you imagine if we all gave them 100%? My goodness, Pastor. That'd be a move of God. What a move that would be. I want to come into church. I want to be like, uh, uh, who was that? Uh, Isaiah. Said, the day that King Uzziah died, right. yep. I saw the Lord oh, high lifted up. Lift it up. His train, his train filled the temple. the temple. The glory of God just came on in the That's temple. That's right, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 See, I got that type of hunger. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, That's what I want to see. That's right. The train full of temple. I want to be like, like I think it was uh, 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 Solomon when he dedicated the temple. temple. Yeah. And as he dedicated the temple, he prayed. And the glory of God came in the temple. And it filled the whole house with the smoke and glory of God. He said they couldn't even minister in there no more. For the glory had taken over. I want the glory of God to come in our yeah, service. Yeah, yeah, so I don't even have to preach. Don't bother me. I don't have to preach. Amen. Like that. Things are just gonna happen like that. You've got to be invested. Yes, yes. yes Pastor, that's right. You've got to sacrifice. Amen. You, you've got to spend your time. You've got to be. Remember, I talked about this morning. He said, "You occupy." That's right. Until he comes. Yeah. You occupy. You be about kingdom business. That's right. And what's more important than kingdom business? That's right, Pastor. What do you deem more important? Right. So I, I want to see his glory. So here's what he said. We're going to go home. Uh, oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. Did somebody you read? I'll try somebody to read. Kai, you read already? Yes. Early will I seek you. Yes. And you got to get up from there. Right. Uh, uh, tell the person sitting next to you, behind you, or beside you, you got to get up from there. Oh, you're going to miss his glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't ask me what happened. Because I'm going to be caught up in the glory. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You've got to get up from that. You want your children saved, don't you? That's right, Pastor. You want your family saved? Don't expect me to get up. Right. You get up. That's good. That's right. You're to see. You get up. Don't expect the pastor to do everything. Yes. That's right, Pastor. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting up. I got to get up for me, you, and everybody. Right. When you going to get up for you? That's right. That's right. That's right. I might get tired tonight. That's right. When you going to get up? Yeah. Right? He says, early. Early. Well, I seek you. That's right. Now, if you go to bed early and put up the devices, get off the telephone, uh -huh. tell a line, tell a talk, <laughs> get off the phone, get off the phone, get off the Facebook, the fake, the, I like the way you call it, the fake book, get fake, off the Facebook, yeah. Yeah, it's a fake book there. put the fake book down, get in the real book. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 
turn the television off. Yeah. Get in some reading time. Yeah. And some prayer time. Yeah. Right? Spend some time with the king. Yeah. Right? If he wake you up, amen, get up early and go ahead and pray. Make it, don't think about, man, I gotta go to work. Right? Get, on, get on up from there. Get on up from there. Yeah. Amen. I gotta let y'all go. Here, here, let me tell you something. Here's why you need to get up from there. Here's why you need to get up. Because it could be, Brother Marcus, Brother Pedro, could be, could be, could be this. Brother Domingo, me, you, anybody. Could be this. Could be that God is waking you up at 2 a.m. to get you to pray. That's right, that's right. So he can block the demons that's right, that's right. that are trying to destroy you at 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That God it wants you to talk to him so he can tell you, don't take that route. Glory right. to God. Go the other way to work. Yes, sir. Well, you wouldn't get up and pray. And guess what? You ran right into it. It was laying wait for you. The devil got you. That's good, Pastor. Amen. Yeah. It could be that God wants you to intercede for your child. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. You laid up holding them pillows tighter than a vice grip. <laughs> now the demons are tormenting your child, children. He wanted you to intercede. Could have been that somebody that you know in your family that the devil is tormenting them and God is trying to get you up there to intercede on their behalf. Yes. Could be somebody in the church. That's right. God is trying to get you to pray for them. You holding on to them to see, you won't see his glory. He's trying to talk to you. He's trying to get you to mature more. He's trying to get you to grow more. Mm -hmm. He said, early when I get up and seek him. My soul is thirsting for thee. You ever slept in the bed and wake up thirsty? I bet you don't lay there. I bet you go get the refrigerator and some water. <laughs> so how thirsty are you for the Lord? Uh, I got to get out of here now. I got to get out of here now. I bet you don't lay there. I'm thirsty. You run to the kitchen. <laughs> Now you got pee all night. <laughs> loop, 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 loop. Because your body is saying you're thirsty. Well, what about your soul? Amen, Pastor. What about your soul? What about your soul? He said, my, my, my soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longs for thee in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Why? To see your power and the glory of so I have seen it before in the sanctuary. Yes, sir. If all of us we get a heart and a mind to seek Him 100%, when we come in the sanctuary, when we come in the Bible study, we'll be so full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It would permeate in the atmosphere. Amen, Pastor. That's what I want to see. Amen. And you got to buy into this. You got to be thirsty. Yes, sir. What are you thirsty for? The things of the world or the things of God? Your soul thirsty. Yes, sir. Your soul. When your soul is thirsty, you do something about it. Just like when your body is thirsty, you get on up from yes. there. Get on up there. I go for it. I see it. Home <laughs> <laughs> to the refrigerator. Home <laughs> back to bed. But when God is calling, Amen. your soul is not thirsty. People of God, we've got to get an understanding. Only we, can you imagine? Only can you imagine? Right. If all of us with the Spirit of God would get together with one mind and one accord. Yes. Giving God 100%. Wow. Well, nothing would be impossible for God to do. That's right. Well, not. But you've got to know that. Mm -hmm. you've, got to, you've got to want that. So you, you have people yes, sir. at different levels. You've got some people who's already hungry. Yes. And they're already bought in to the fact that they want more. Then you got some people who are complacent. Then you got some people who, who are complacent. They don't want to grow any further. Then you got some people who ain't really made up their mind they want to be in the church or not. Right. The lukewarm. And so, some kind of way, we've got to pull this together where we can grow together. That's right. And so, that way we can know him. That's right.
we're going to stand and pray. We're gonna, and I hope this has been a blessing to you. Amen. As we go through the prayer part. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah. Yes, Pastor. I'm, I'm starved. Hungry. I ain't talking about no cheeseburger, no hamburgers, no hot dogs either. I ain't talking about no chicken. I'm hungry for a move of God. Amen, Pastor. Amen. I'm hungry yes, for a move of God. You know, I uh, I call y'all names out before the Lord. I lift y'all up before the Lord. Amen. And I, I pray. I ask God to touch it. And here's how I do it. I have a memory. I memorize in my mind what y'all all said. That's right. And I start on the far corner. And I pray for each and every person. I go all the way back. Then I come back up the middle. And I mention you and your families. I lift you up before the Lord. Yes, sir. Then I come back down and I hit the other side. Mm -hmm. And then I come back down and I hit the other side. Mm -hmm. And I cover the whole church in prayer. Mm -hmm. That's how I pray. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And I call your names out before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I ask God, God, touch them. Bless them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Lord will direct me what to pray for specifically. And sometimes the Lord will say what's going on specifically. Because mm -hmm. I intercede. And I got yes, to know what to pray for. So God opens up my mm -hmm. mind and he opens up my heart to intercede. Mm -hmm. And I pray before the Lord. And then I pray, I pray. I start with my wife and I'm over in the corner and I come back. Mm -hmm. And then the last person I pray for in the church is me. Mm -hmm. Amen. After I pray. And I, I pray like this. Lord, touch them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I call out the name before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I say, God, if they've committed any sin, please forgive them. Mm -hmm. I stand in the gap, God, and I ask God that you would cleanse them and wash them. Give them their heart's desire. Cause them to have a hunger and thirst for righteousness. Yes, Build them up, God, that they might be a light. Hallelujah. Yes, to them that sit in darkness. Yes. Heal their bodies. Heal their minds. Yes, Bring God. them out in the name of the Lord. Yes, God, bind the hands of the enemy. Yes, Cover them under the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the will of God be made manifested in their life. Let them be productive, God. Yes. Give them a winning mentality. Yes. Give them a strong mind. Amen. God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes. that God, that you will lift them up, God, yes. and give them the victory. Yes. I put them before you. God, I pray yes. that you continue to be a hedge around their life. Yes. Touch their children. Yes. Touch their family. Yes. Cause them to prosper, God. Deal with them specifically. Yes. God, wake them up. Hallelujah. Yes. Give them a mind, God, to see yes. your, your face. And to call upon your name. Yes. Then I go pray for the next one. Hallelujah. Yeah, God, hallelujah. Yeah, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pray. And then after I pray, God begins to move me into the spiritual realm where I'm interceding in tongues. Mm, glory. Yeah, God, hallelujah. Yeah, God, I've heard myself call out your name in tongues. Hey, God, Lord. Yes, I begin to pray and intercede. Yes. Thank you. Then I begin to thank God. God, I thank you. Uh, somebody begin to thank God right now. God, I thank you. Thank you, Father. I pray. Amen. For the church over in Fort Washington. I pray for Sheila. And I pray, amen, for Melissa. I pray for my cousins down in Lesbian. I call your names out before the Lord. I ask God to intercede on your behalf. God, make them thirsty. Thank you, Lord. Let them thirsty, Lord. They might serve me. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray for our country and our cities and our states. I pray and lift up. Amen. The president of this nation and the people and the leaders. And I ask God to help us. So we might walk in the power of God. In the name of the Lord. So prayer is good. God will give you an understanding. And he'll shift you, amen, as an intercessor to intercede on behalf of the people. I ask God to break every stronghold yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Hey, God, that they might, God, see you, hallelujah, the hope of glory. Stir up the gift that is in them. Hey, glory, hallelujah. Hey, see, when you pray and you fast and you seek God, it yeah, don't take you long for you feel the presence of the Lord. Yeah, God, you can feel God's anointing. You can feel his power. Amen. Don't take long because you're used to praying. 
The devil don't have you blinded. He has you loose. In the name of the Lord. Eternal God, we thank you. We give you glory. Bless those who are watching my Facebook Live. Bless those, oh God, who are going through trials and tribulations, who the enemy is trying to drag back into the world. We pray for them, Lord God, that you take them. Yea, God, you said none shall pluck them out of your hands. God, you're stronger than everything. Yea, God, give us a desire to call upon your great name. Hallelujah. Yea, God, hallelujah. Help us, God, to turn away and to turn back to you. In the name of the Lord. God, I'll give you honor and glory. God, I'll give you praise. In the name of the Lord. Grab that person's hand. Name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you for the hand that I'm holding. Bless my brother. Bless my sister. Bless my sister. Cause us to triumph. Cause us to triumph. Give us the victory. Give us the victory. That hand that I'm holding. That hand that I'm holding. Give him the victory. Give her the victory. Give her the victory. I intercede on their behalf. That none shall be lost. That none shall be lost. Now God bring strength. In the name of Jesus. Squeeze that hand tighter. Squeeze that hand tighter. Hey, God, give us a heart to pray and to seek your face. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God. God. Hallelujah. I feel his glory. Help to give you a hundred percent. Squeeze that hand. I'm praying that you give the Lord a hundred percent. Hey God, hallelujah. Yeah, let it start right now. Eighty percent won't do. Ninety percent won't do. 95% won't do. 98 won't do. Give him 100%. Commit your ways unto the Lord. So shall thy ways be established. Father, thank you, Lord. God, we thank you. Father, thank you, Jesus. Protect us as we leave this place. Let the blood of thank Jesus Christ Jesus. cover us. Hallelujah. Keep us from the yes, evil. God, we thank you. All hurt, harm, and danger. Jesus. Hallelujah. Restore us. Hallelujah. Restore us Hallelujah. back. Hey, God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we give you glory and honor. Hallelujah. As we give you praise. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank that man one more time. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. What's your sister doing? Thank you. You're in the hands of God. It's our homes of God. It's our minds of God. It's our family. Yeah, I feel something in here. Thank you. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We stand in the gap. We make up the hedge. We give you glory. Jesus, Jesus, name, Jesus name. Name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now lose that hand. Hallelujah. Give God a hand and clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Start tonight. Amen. By giving God 100%. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Full out. Commit your way to the Lord. In all that way. Tell the Lord. The next time you wake me up, I'm committed to get up. Yes. I'll spend time with you. Amen. He wants to talk to you. 
Amen. He wants to reveal himself to you. Amen. That's right. He's got something he wants to say to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He got something that he wants to tell you Amen. that will turn your situation around. Amen. It takes one word. Don't take a whole text. One word from God. Just one word from God. God wants you to hear it. But you got to spend time to pray. In the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. See y'all. Amen. Next, ter next Thursday. Amen. Uh, we're going to pause the Bible study next Thursday till I get back from the Dominican Republic. It'll be the Lord's helper and the Lord's will. As we endeavor to do the will of the Lord. Amen. There will be service on Sunday. Amen. We'll be back. Amen. On Monday. In the name of the Lord. And the Lord's going to bless us. We solicit your prayers. Amen. Amen. Get up out of that bed and pray. Pray for the work of God. And the work of God go forward. Pray that God will deliver and set free. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Pray for your families. Pray for your children. So I'm telling you right now, just by the signs of the time, the Lord is soon to come back. Yes. Amen. He's soon to come back. No time to get comfortable. We must occupy Amen. until he comes. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Love you.